This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating an anterior shoulder dislocation in a patient presenting to the emergency room with shoulder pain after a fall. The view can be obtained by either using a linear or curvilinear probe. The patient is placed in a seated position with the affected arm adducted. The probe is placed in a transverse orientation just inferior to the scapular spine with the probe marker pointed towards the humeral head. The probe is then traced laterally along that scapular spine until the glenohumeral joint comes into view. In this clip, we can see that the curvilinear probe is being used as delineated by the footprint at the top of the screen. To orient ourselves, the near field here is posterior and includes what is closest to the probe. And we can see the muscle fibers of the deltoid and infraspinatus. The glenoid is seen here as a hyperechoic line with the rounded humeral head displaced anteriorly in the far field. In between, we see heterogeneous material that is like leak blood in the setting of acute trauma. Compare this to a normal shoulder joint where we see the rounded humeral head articulating with the glenoid. In patients undergoing a shoulder reduction, ultrasound can be used in real time to quickly confirm whether a reduction has been successful. This is particularly useful when the physical exam is equivocal, potentially saving the patient the need for multiple plane films, sedations, or reduction attempts.